Chestnut roasting. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. So I'm offering a sample frame. Although it's been so Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, hi, my name's Jack, it's nice to meet you. It's Christmas Eve, I actually can't believe it's Christmas Eve, and where has this year gone, honestly, like, I uh, just, I don't know. This is the first Christmas Eve, I'm actually not going home, so I've decided, because this is the first year I've had me flat, I actually want to spend Christmas Eve alone. I know that sounds really depressing, I guess I just want to, like, experience Christmas Eve alone, and I'm doing it. So, tonight is going to be super chill for me, I'm probably just going to watch a film have some wine, eat some food, and then tomorrow my dad is gonna pick me up and then I'm gonna go to my mom and dad's and see my brothers and my granddad is coming over as well. We'll have quite a relatively small Christmas, to be honest. We'll celebrate it, we'll enjoy it, but like we don't have like loads of family around. But yeah, I'm gonna go and get myself sorted for a cozy Christmas night in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Please, we need to get to 400 subscribers. That's like my goal. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So I'm offering the sample frame. Merry Christmas guys. How is everyone? I hope everyone's having a great day. I've literally just came out of the shower, feeling cleansed, just done a cute hair mask. I don't know what I wear. Like what do you wear on Christmas Day? It's so weird. It doesn't even feel like Christmas today. Like I think it's because I've, I've woke up and obviously it's like an empty, empty flat and I've woke up alone and I'm just like, like it just feels like another day kind of thing, but oh well. I am so excited for my Christmas dinner, like I actually cannot wait. So it's currently 20 past 10, my dad is going to pick me up for around half 11 and then I'm going to go back to my, well I need to go pick my granddad up and then we're going to go over to my mum and dad's and then just have like... Christmas dinner and stuff there. I don't know how much I'm gonna film today, but we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how, how the vibe goes. If I remember to film, I'll film. If I don't, then also my neighbor last night, I'm trying to like speak quietly. Well, I don't think they'll be able to hear. One of them upstairs, like my neighbors upstairs must have bought like a drum set or something because it was going on all night. And then the guitar came out and then they were singing and it was just like a whole thing. And I was like, okay. Okay then. I was like, this is really not the Christmas miracle that I wished for. But we got it. So, hope it doesn't continue. But it was a full on performance. I don't know who was there. It sounded like there was an audience. But I just got a ticket unexpectedly. Also, so many people when I told them that like, I was going to be spending Christmas Eve alone. And then I wasn't going to go home until Christmas Day were like, really shocked about it and I'm just like do you know what it is like there's so many people who live on their own who like do that every year like I didn't really see a difference in it like I live alone now anyway I'm used to my own company to be honest last night didn't even feel like Christmas Eve wasn't bothered this morning wasn't really bothered either like I it's honestly not a big deal like I mean I don't really see the big deal out of it I mean I get people want to be like around family and stuff and like partners and stuff like that but to me it's just another day like it really is plus it's like the reality like of living alone like I'm super independent so I don't really feel like I need to be around people like all the time and I'm happy with that so I just felt like I had to say that because yeah also I'm gonna let you in on a little tip I've learned recently so to get your eyes super white I've started using this basically it's eye drops from Boots and it brightens your eyes. So yeah, if you didn't know, then now you do. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm already, this is what I'm wearing. So I'm just wearing this, to be honest, I wear this to work <laughs> most of the time. It's just this jumper that I got from New Look, I think a few years ago. But I thought it's quite Christmassy and then, turn you around. Just wearing these grey pants from ASOS and just some Pumas and just a white t-shirt. Pretty simple, but like I'm sitting in the house, I'm not like going out, so don't need to be dressing up. Speaking of going out, I'm so glad I didn't go out yesterday. Like I've seen loads of people about out on Christmas Eve. I don't know how people do it. The only time I've ever done it and I really took it too far. Basically where I'm from, there's this club called Roxanne's in South Shields. If you're not from South Shields, I wouldn't recommend. If you are, you know what I'm talking about. Went out on Christmas Eve, was just meant to be a couple of quiet drinks. Was there at like three o'clock in the morning. I don't even know how clubs are allowed to open till that time on Christmas Eve, but it was. You would not catch me doing that now though. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I hope Santa came and just slayed the house down. It's New Year's Eve tomorrow, so this is gonna be my last video of 2022. I'll be back next year. Haven't got rid of us just yet. <laughs> Not end the video on like a, a low, but I'm actually like low-key united with every because like they've had my New Year's Eve outfit for literally five days now. And they're like, oh, we can't, we can't deliver because of like severe weather conditions. From what I'm looking out from the window, I can see nothing but dry and crisp conditions. So I don't know what they're talking about when they say severe weather. And it's not like the parcel's coming from anywhere else because it's literally at the, the local depot where all of the stuff goes. And there's no severe weather conditions in Newcastle, so... I'm not too sure what game they're playing there, but they don't want to mess with me. But if I want to do a little reflection on the year, I would say that this year has really been like the year of me and like of myself. Like I've really took time this year, like just to be alone and be with my own thoughts and like really assess what I want in life. Like I'm now living alone, like I'm really independent. Like uh, this is, it was such a big year of just change for myself. And I'm really proud that I've like came through it because if you had asked me a year ago that this would be my situation, I wouldn't have believed you and I wouldn't have believed that I could have done it. So I'm actually really grateful that I've had this learning lesson this year of just being comfortable with yourself and being happy within yourself. And I can really say that I'm leaving this year really quite pleased with myself and how far I've actually came. And I am excited to continue this in the next year as well. I also just wanna say a really big thank you to every single one of you who's watched my videos this year, who's liked them, shared them. To all of you who've subscribed and have been here since day one, like thank you so much. It actually really means the world that like people do enjoy watching my content. And I've actually met a few of you as well on nights out recently, which is like mind blowing. So thank you so much for everyone who comes up to me and says that they watch my content. It honestly really makes me like appreciate doing this and I really value doing it as well um, especially when stuff like that and interactions like that happen it's actually really it's class to be honest yeah enough of me rambling on though I will see you all next year I hope you all have an amazing new year and don't get too drunk yeah fuck it it's new year thanks guys for watching the video and I'll see you all in the next one